Hello. Today I would like to discuss about Oracle Application Express. What is Oracle Application Express and why should we use this extraordinary application from Oracle Corporation? To start with, assume that I have no Oracle installed in my system but I still want to work with Oracle 12C or even some older versions. Now this is the best way to get started. All that you need to do is just go to apex.oracle.com that's a website and it is giving you a button to get started with Oracle Application Express. Just click on that. It's asking you what you would like to do and we are interested in creating a workspace a free workspace which you can use to try Oracle commands without you installing Oracle into your system. So imagine a scenario where all that you have is just an internet connection and you have no Oracle installed and you can still practice Oracle. You can still get to know Oracle by using this free workspace. Just click on free workspace then it will ask you what you want to do we are interested in application development so select this and then it's going to ask you for few details so I'm giving the details here so I provide the details like uh, my name and then email address is going to be Srikant Technologies Vizag 8 gmail.com and I have to provide a unique workspace name I say st underscore oracle 12c that's the name I'm giving and click on next it's going to ask me for schema schema name any name will do so I say st demo and whatever name you just give a simple name and it is asking you for space allocation it provides 25 MB it may not be enough for a corporate but for someone who just want to who just wants to practice what is what this 25 MB is pretty good enough so click on next and then it will ask you a few questions can Oracle contact you about Oracle Application Express you can say yes and uh, are you new to Oracle Application Express? Yes, you say yes. Uh, would your organization be willing to willing to be a reference for Oracle Application Express? Say yes. You don't lose anything by saying yes. Just click on next, and then it's asking for uh, acceptance. Say I accept the terms. Move on and then this is what it gives submit the request click on submit request and that's it your workspace has been su <coughs> successfully requested and continue to sign in screen so click on that now here it's asking you to log in but in the meantime it must have sent a mail to you with the details so here I'm using my inbox for that so it has already sent the details and I have to get those details to get the password because I have to log in here so here it's asking for my workspace this is my workspace so what did we give we gave Oracle 12c then the email address is uh, srikant technologies vizag at the rate gmail.com and now this is where we need to give the password and to give the password we have to wait until we get that mail so once the mail is sent we get the details about it well so in the meantime the mail has come and here is the mail and it is saying this is the workspace 
and this is the username and then click on this link below so just click on that it's going to take you to the screen so it's creating workspace for us it takes a little while once the workspace is uh, done we are all set to go well workspace successfully created continue here and then it's asking you to enter the password so you have to enter a password for this so choose any password you like and once you enter the password click on apply changes you are all set to go so this is where you land and in this you have to go to SQL workshop so click on this this is where you get again a set of options go for SQL commands and this is where you are all set to give your commands so this is using Oracle's uh, database it uses Oracle 12C that is the latest version and if you are new to Oracle I strongly recommend you go for my book on Oracle database 12C for beginners this is my Kindle version available in Amazon and this is covering all the basics you need to know about Oracle and this is specifically written for beginners of Oracle so you get to see SQL as well as PL SQL now coming back to this uh, SQL commands this is where you give commands so if I say select start from tab for example and click on this run it is uh, this this is run on the right corner click on that it is going to give you the tables and it has got some tables but they are not created by me they don't contain my data so we can create our own tables so I'm going to get a table so here is my table so like this you can uh, create a table in fact uh, if you're planning to work with uh, Oracle's default HR account if you want to use those tables related to employees jobs and so on again I strongly recommend you go to my github so this is my github uh, Srikant Pregada is my user ID go to my repository so I have a repository called Oracle queries and in this repository I have HR tables creation dot SQL this is the file which contains all the commands you need to create uh, tables related to HR human resources schema so this is what Oracle uses in its documentation so if you want to work with the, these tables go here and then copy these uh, create table commands and other commands paste them here you get all the tables created automatically now to start with I try to create a very simple table called contacts click on run and it is going to execute that it said table created we are done and we can insert a row into that so you can just paste command or type command whatever you like and you can select the command independently and run it so I'm inserting a row into this table like this so you can insert as many rows as you want of course the total limit is 25 MB but 25 MB is uh, a lot of space now all that I need to do is select con start from contacts and then click on run you get to see that and remember by default it is giving only 10 rows but if you want you can ask it to display more than 10 rows might be 100 rows and then it will list out all those rows so this is uh, a wonderful opportunity to work with Oracle without having to install Oracle into your system because Oracle is uh, a very hefty software you may not have system resources to support it but all that you need is a simple browser with browser you get started 
so this is what you need to do hope uh, you found this information useful keep using it keep learning bye bye